Hi, it's Malcolm, the developer of Tennis Swing Analyzer, an app that runs on Wear OS watches and Android phones. As the name suggests, the app can help you analyze your tennis swing to identify shots, see your swing times and speeds, check your wrist and arm rotation, and more. Today, I'm gonna to show you the watch app, explain some basic concepts and run through how it works. So here's my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, and let me open the app. Here's the home screen with three buttons, Analyze, Practice and Calibrate. And you'll see it says Profile 1 Active. Up to five separate people can store their shot profiles in this app. And by default, they're named Profile 1 through Profile 5. But you can change the names in the phone app. Now the watch needs to be able to recognize the tennis strokes that you play and the first step is to do some calibration. Calibration involves hitting a few shots of each type in turn as prompted by the watch app. Normally at this stage you'd be on the tennis court with a basket of balls and your tennis partner or coach. But for this video I'll just walk you through the sequence on the watch. In another video I'll demonstrate this sequence on the tennis court. So let's tap the calibrate button and we see this screen. Now tapping on the P buttons, P minus, P plus, move up or down to the next profile uh, and I can show you that. So profile two active. If a profile hasn't been calibrated, it will say so. Let me move back to the default profile one. Now this uh, arrow button on the left returns to the previous screen uh, and the delete button deletes all the shots associated with the current profile. So now let's tap the add button. This is how you add calibrated shots to your profile. The watch is going to prompt us to play a series of strokes in turn starting with flat forehands. You'll need your partner or coach to feed you the balls to hit. The number of shots you play will appear in brackets here. I already played four shots. This number will be zero if you were using the app for the first time. Ideally, you want to hit between six and 10 of each type of stroke. When you're done with flat forehands, Tap the next button to go on to topspin forehands. Once you've hit some topspin forehands, tap next to move on to sliced forehands. To save time in this video, we'll quickly cycle through the remaining strokes. Flat backhand, topspin backhand, sliced backhand, Forehand volley, backhand volley, and serve. Now once we're done with serves, the calibration process is complete. And we can now use the analyze and practice buttons. Tapping the analyze button puts the watch in analyze mode. You'll see the message waiting for shot. In this mode, you can play any single stroke. The watch app will recognize the shot that you have played and display your swing time and swing speed. Your partner or coach can have the phone app open. The results will also be sent to the phone so you can see them in real time. Check out my other videos to see how this works on the tennis court. When you're done, tap stop to return to the home screen. Now let's look at practice mode. Having tapped the practice button, the watch is now going to record the shots you play during the practice session. Tapping on the center text cycles through practice, drills, training, coaching, singles, doubles, mixed, 
and back to practice. This is so you can later identify the activity that you did. One of the features of the app is that you can export details of every shot that you played in the practice session into a spreadsheet. The mark button increments a marker to help you identify particular sections of the session. For example, you might start out hitting cross-court forehands with your coach. Tap mark and all the shots in that section will be marked as one. You can see that on the, uh, on the button. Then perhaps cross-court backhands. Tap mark again to mark those shots as two, and so on. It's optional, entirely up to you. To finish, tap finish and then quickly long tap finish again. This is to guard against accidental screen touches prematurely ending your practice session. At this point, the results of your practice session will be sent wirelessly from your watch to the phone app. Obviously, in this case, we, we don't have any results to display. In another video, we'll take a look at the phone app in some detail. Finally, to exit from the app, just right swipe. I hope you found this video useful. Check out my other videos about Tennis Swing Analyzer for more information. That's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon.